Hello everybody, this is The Exception, and welcome to my Week 2 Team Builder for the NPA Season 3. This week, myself and the Tampa Bay Luxers will be taking on the Choice Specs and the Orlando Magic Carps. Uh, so I believe there are three Florida teams in the NPA, and I am the only one that currently lives in Florida. Uh, so hopefully, we get some home field advantage this match, but... Down below, you'll see his team. He's got Dragonite, Mandibuzz, Aerodactyl, Miss Magius, uh, Sceptile, Pyroar, Mega Slowbro, Scolipede, Snorlax, Gardevoir, and Magneton. Uh, so that team was very difficult to prepare against. Honestly, I don't know if I've done it well enough, but we'll see. I have some cool sets coming your way. So let's go ahead and hop into the first one here. The first one is going to be Gastrodon. Now... <laughs> Gastrodon is named Disguise because this week it is going to be an Araquanid in Disguise. Uh, so it's running a lot of the same set. Uh, well, I guess not a lot. It has Infestation, which was what I ran on Araquanid last week and trapped Mega Slowbro, or regular Slowbro, and killed it. This week I'm facing Mega Slowbro, and again, I hate Slowbros, so I'm going to try to trap and kill it this way. Uh, you know, I, I didn't want to do the exact same trick twice. I didn't think he would fall for it, that just wouldn't make sense. So I had to go with something like this. Uh, and also, Araquanid doesn't really fit in this match because he has a lot of, well, he has a few rock setters, and then a lot of these Pokemon get rock moves, he's got Aerodactyl, Araquanid just doesn't do well in this matchup. So, kind of had to go with Gastron if I wanted to try to do this trick again. But uh, Infestation there, obviously to trap Mega Slowbro. Toxic to, uh, you know, get it whittled down. We got Recover to heal out of anything it throws our way. And Clear Smog. Now, uh, I was originally running uh, Scald over Clear Smog. But there were some issues with that. Uh, first off, I didn't want to accidentally burn Slowbro or anything else. Uh, because accidentally burning Slowbro completely ruins my plan. And then I have almost no way of taking it out. I don't have... Any moves that do over 50% to it this week, I'm kind of relying on Gastrodon to whittle it down with Toxic, even if I can't trap it. Uh, so that might be a mistake on my part, but I feel like I can do it. I just I have to be careful. Um, I, I really cannot get it ha have have it get any other status. It has to be poisoned, and that is it. Um, now we got a Float Stone. and the Float Stone is there because the only Grass move that Slowbro gets. Uh, is Grass Knot, aside from Hidden Power Grass, which I don't think it would bring. Why not just bring Grass Knot? Um, grass Knot does a lot of damage. There's no need for HP Grass. Uh, so, I don't think he'll bring it. Uh, but if he does bring it, then I have the Float Stone, and I can heal out of any Grass Knot he throws my way. Uh, max Special Attack Grass Knot does, like, 30 to 40%, I think, or something like that. Either way, it's not a two-hit KO, so I can heal out of it just fine. Um... And clear smog in case he tries to set up on me. Now, one of the advantages of having Araquanid last week was that it got Leech Life and Lunge, which did about 50% damage to Slowbro. So, like, I could depend on that for damage, and it would definitely go down in four to five turns. Uh, but with, you know, Gastrodon here, I don't have any way to do damage to it. Uh, so, it can easily last four to five turns if I don't play it right. Um, if he's trying to heal up on me, he can probably outlast me, uh, but if he goes for the setup moves and tries to set up and take out Gastrodon, which is definitely a viable option, uh, it could really hurt my team, and then he could sweep after he takes out Gastrodon. So I got Clear Smog there to go ahead and knock that down. Also, for the Snorlax. Now, I don't know if Snorlax is going to have immunity. If it does have immunity, that's kind of annoying because then I can't poison it. But uh, the Clear Smog is there, of course, that Curse Lax can't set up on me, because it's also super annoying. Um, I, I, I really don't want to keep Gastrodon in versus Snorlax, but it can stay in. Gastrodon is also one of the more defensive mons on the team this week, so uh, it's really going to be taking a lot of hits from a lot of different things. Uh, and, and it can take these hits very well with its uh, EV spread here, so 244 HP, 132 Defense, and 132 Special Defense. Um, now, that's a very basic spread. I, I probably could have done a little bit better on that, but uh, it works. Why not? Why, why mess with it, you know? Uh, that's that's my thoughts, you know? If, if it works, then it works. That's, that's how we're going to go with that. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on 
to our second Pokemon, which is going to be Darmanitan. So, <laughs> Darmanitan here has quite the EV spread this week. 100 HP, 252 attack, 4 defense, 4 special defense, and 148 speed. Alright, so we got Sheer Force, uh, Adamant Nature. It's going to be running a Choice Scarf. I forgot to put it back on after I did a test match on Battle Spot, but there will be a Choice Scarf on here. Uh, Flare Blitz for, you know, just stab damage. It hits a lot of things very hard. It okos a lot of things. Rock Slide for those pesky flying types like Mandibuzz and Dragonite. Um, we got U-Turn, of course, for Switch Initiative, which is which what we're going to be using most of the time. Most of the time, U-Turn is just going to be the move to use. Um, even if, you know, we can kill something super effectively, he's probably going to switch out. And if he doesn't, we do have Switch-Ins. So, not a huge worry. U-Turn is going to be the move most of the time, though. Uh, super Power, of course, as well. Um, so, that is what we got for Darmanitan. That's pretty simple. It's a Darmanitan, you know. Um, it's going to outspeed mostly everything on his team. I don't think that it outspeeds Scolipede, but or Scolipede after a plus one uh, speed boost, but we'll see how it goes. I think uh, I think it will outspeed everything else on the team. Maybe it doesn't outspeed Aerodactyl. I would like to think that it does. I think that it does. Um, I'll have to look into that again. My brain is is not working too right this morning, so we'll see how that goes. But um, that is Darmanitan. It's Darmanitan. Not much else to it. All right, so our third Pokemon here is going to be Mega Absol. So um, you kind of have to expect this thing to come most weeks. Now, it's obviously not going to come every week. I don't like to bring every Pokemon every week, but this is what we're running on it. We got Sucker Punch, Ice Beam, Super Power, and Knock Off. Uh... <laughs> His team is very weak to ice, uh, so you may see, see ice moves throughout this team, and uh, that's just because his team has a lot of ice weaknesses. Dragonite, Mandibuzz, uh, Sceptile, Scolipede, they're all weak to ice, so I kind of had to prepare for them. <clears throat> and there's not a lot of things on his team that really wants to take an ice beam. You know, maybe Snorlax, Slowbro, Pyroar, uh, but nothing else really wants to take one. So, that's that's kind of my thoughts on there. Sucker Punch does a lot of damage to his team. Uh, I really wanted to run Icy Wind because I figured if something switched into uh, Absol here, I don't know why. I don't know what would switch in, honestly. That, it's, it's a mystery to me what would switch into Absol because a lot of things die to Absol very quickly. Uh, but if he wanted to switch something in and I get an Icy Wind off on, like, I don't know, let's say Aerodactyl or Scolipede, it would immediately be very slow. And uh, I would be in a very good position to take it out on the next turn. Uh, the problem with Icy Wind, though, is that it is not priority. And uh, it doesn't do as much as Sucker Punch does. So, had to roll a Sucker Punch on this one. And uh, hopefully that works out for us. Honestly, if we can leave Absol in the back till, like, end game, Absol can probably come in and clean up with Sucker Punch alone. Um... Ice Beam, I already explained that. We got Knock Off there, just to knock off items. Be generally annoying. Um, we don't want them to have their pesky items. That is just annoying to us. Uh, plus, we'll find out, you know, if we hit, like, a... I guess, well, we'll hit the Mega Stone on Slowbro. But if we hit, like, a Z item, that'd be nice to know. I don't think we'll get to know what Z item it is, but we will know that we can't knock it off, which is a plus. Um, we got Justify it as its ability. I kind of... I don't know if I'm going to do this or not. This is a very risky move, but I might be able to switch in on Mandibuzz with Absol and take a knockoff, get a plus one boost. The reason it's risky, though, is because Absol doesn't two-hit Mandibuzz, but uh, Mandibuzz could two-hit Absol with foul play um, because of the boost. So if it has foul play, that's not a good move. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. That seems, that's very risky. You know, maybe, maybe if it's a risk it for the biscuit type of situation where I'm going to lose if I don't do it, I'll do it. But uh, it's there as an option. That's, that's what it is. Um, then, of course, you know, when we Mega Evolve, we get Magic Bounce, which would be nice for rocks. I don't see us being able to bounce back rocks, but maybe bounce back a Toxic from that uh, Mandibuzz. Maybe he forgets about Magic Bounce on Mega Absol or something. I don't know. Um, hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we can get through this, though, and, and, and Absol can, can come out and destroy some Pokemon. So, that's Absol. Let's move on to Latias, though. Because <laughs> Latias is very offensive this week. So, 
Uh, 28 HP, 12 defense, 248 special attack, and 220 speed. Uh, like Darmanitan, I believe this outspeeds everything except for a plus one Scolipede. Uh, I could be wrong on that. I, I believe that that is the case. I've done a lot of test matches here. Um, so I'll, I'll go ahead and look at the uh, the speed tiers again before I do the match. But yeah, so, so it outspeeds quite a bit. Uh, we got Defog there to get rid of rocks. I don't know if he's going to bring the rocks or if he's going to try to set them up. Uh, but if he does get them up, I do want to get rid of them. I don't want them on the field. I want them gone. Um, Ice Beam, because we uh, outspeed Dragonite. And if we can get a little bit of chip damage off on Dragonite uh, beforehand, then Ice Beam will go ahead and pick up the knockout, which is great. Uh, Shadow Ball hits pretty much everything else on his team pretty hard. Uh, Miss Magius, I believe, goes down. It might live one, I don't know, depending on its spread. Uh, I believe Shadow Ball 2 hits Gardevoir, which is really nice. Uh, it 2 hits Magneton. Uh, the only thing that can really take it is, of course, Snorlax, because it has an immunity, but, oh well, not a big deal. Uh, so that's, that's gonna be Latias here. We got a Life Orb just for extra damage. Um, recovered heal up. Latias is Latias, like Darmanitan is Darmanitan. Uh, it's a little more offensive than usual, but it'll do. It's, it's what we got, you know. Uh, I kinda had to be very offensive with the team this week, uh, just with his threats, had to counter his offense with my offense. I couldn't afford to be defensive this week. It just didn't make sense. There are a couple of defensive mons, but for the most part, we are a very offensive team this week. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop into our fifth Pokemon here, which is going to be Dusk Noir. Now, Dusk Noir is very cool, and I've been looking forward to using it just because of its ability, really, which is Frisk. All right, so Frisk lets me see the Pokemon's item that I switch into. So... I can potentially scout out Z-Moves, Scarves, Specs, um, you know, any other uh, items that I need to know. I can scout them out, and that will be very helpful in this match. Uh, we got 212 HP, 252 attack, and 44 special defense. So what that allows is for me to basically take two Moonblasts from a modest max special attack Gardevoir. Uh, and it also allows me to take two Dragon Claws from a max attack Dragonite. Uh, that does not include, you know, uh, if Dragonite has Dragon Dance up, or if Gardevoir has a Scarf, or, or Specs, I'm sorry. So, there could be some problems with this plan. I don't know. Uh, we got Shadow Sneak, though, for priority. Shadow Sneak, two hits Gardevoir easily, two hits uh, Miss Magius. I believe I actually got a crit in one of our test matches, and it killed Miss Magius right off the bat, so... Um, that's nice. I don't know. I, you know, hoping for a crit. Uh, it's never the way to go. It doesn't doesn't always work out, you know. Um, but if it does crit, it should kill Miss Magius, which is nice. Um, of course, if he switches in Miss Magius, we can get the automatic kill, you know, with Shadow Sneak priority. But uh, that we got Haze, Focus Punch, and Pain Split with a Phytatium, Phytium Z, Phytatium. I put an A in there, Phytium Z. Uh, so this is our Snorlax counter. Uh, now, I watched Jodor's video versus the Choice Specs last week, and in it, he said he was surprised that uh, Specs didn't bring <laughs> Snorlax because he thought it was the, the Pokemon that could just sweep through his team, you know? I feel the same way about Snorlax. I hate Snorlax. I hate, I hate his team. This team has been very difficult to prep against. Um, I feel like if he brings the right sets, something a little bit unpredictable... Uh, he could just, you know, knock me out of the water. It, it could be bad. It could be very bad for me. Uh, so I'm going to hope he doesn't do that. Uh, but if Snorlax does come, I do need to be prepared. Uh, I wanted to run Ice Punch on Dusk Noir because, like I said, a lot of things on his team get hit hard by Ice. Uh, but I just wasn't able to make it happen. I needed Shadow Sneak for Gardevoir. Um, it also happened to work out for Miss Magius. And it also gets priority for anything else that I can maybe come in and kill. So... Shadow Sneak was, was necessary. Pain Split is necessary because if Snorlax tries to rest up on me, I need to be able to Pain Split on it, get its HP away from it, get it into me, uh, and make sure it can't set up Curse, you know, do all that stuff. That's why Haze is there, so it can't uh, also set up a Curse. Um, now, I believe a Phytium Z Focus Punch will knock out Snorlax. It, it might not. Um, I would like to get some chip damage on it anyway. 
Uh, but I'm going to play it safe. I'm not going to hit Phytium Z until I absolutely know I can. Um, now, this is not my only way of taking out Snorlax, but it is my best way of taking out Snorlax. I need to hit that Z move focus punch right on Snorlax and kill it. That is that is what I have to do in order to win here. Now, I do have another option, not a great option. And if I do somehow miss the Z move and hit a different Pokemon or something, I that's really going to suck. It's really going to hurt my team a lot, but I can deal with it. Um, Dust Noir here also, uh, before I move on to the next Pokemon, also walls out Scolipede because of the Haze. Now, Scolipede, I believe, 4 hits Dust Noir, and I 5 hit Scolipede with uh, Shadow Sneak. This Focus Punch doesn't do all that much, and it's not going to you know, set up on me to get a Swords Dance or whatever because I got Haze. Well, after it figures out I have Haze, but um, I have Pain Split, so I can heal up. Scolipede cannot heal up. So that's the advantage I have on Scolipede, and hopefully that's enough to go ahead and take it out, um, because it can't heal. Uh, but other than that, I really don't have a switch into Scolipede. So Dust Noir is going to be a, the win condition if Scolipede comes. So keep that in mind during the match. If Scolipede comes, Dust Noir is the win condition. I have to keep it around. There is no losing it. If I lose Dusk, I've pretty much lost the match, um, which sucks, but... Like I said, his team is scary. He has a lot of scary offensive threats. And my, my best way of countering these was with my own offense. Uh, so playing a defensive match just was not an option. Um, even if it would counter Scolipede better, it would not counter Dragonite better or Aerodactyl better. It's Or Curselax better. So I, I'm kind of in a pickle here. Uh, his team you know, versus my team does very well. And I really have to hope that I can predict him. And, and you know, figure out what he's going to be doing. But uh, this is this is Dust Noir. So let's move on to our last Pokemon here, which is going to be Porygon Z. Now Porygon Z did very well last week. He got three kills. I was really hoping for a 6-0 Porygon sweep, uh, but the Adrenaline Orb didn't go off, and unfortunately, we don't have an Adrenaline Orb this week because there's no Intimidate users on Choice Specs' team. So. Uh, anyways, we are running Hidden Power Rock, Ice Beam, Trick, and Shadow Ball. So, the only Pokemon that uh, Porygon Z couldn't hit in my test matches was Pyroar, because I was running HP Fire. Uh, and so, I decided to run HP Rock. It hits Pyroar decently hard, and it also hits a few of the other Pokemon on his team, like Mandibuzz. Um, Dragonite takes about 25%. And it's, it's super effective, you know. It's I don't know. It's just something to be super effective. It'll do a little chip, bit, bit of chip damage here and there. Uh, it hit Scolipede pretty hard, uh, so that's why I'm running Hidden Power Rock. Not the best move. I probably could have found something better, but um, I needed some coverage for Pyroar because I don't really have anything out there. Kind of just have to re depend on you know Gastrodon walling it out a little bit, and uh, you know maybe getting it poisoned or something at this point. Uh, so having Hidden Power Rock is just so we have a little bit of offense versus Pyroar. Um, we got Ice Beam, of course. Like I said, need those Ice moves. So we have three Ice Beams on this team. Porygon Z, Latias, and Absol all have Ice Beam because he has a lot of Ice Weakness. Um, and if he wants to bring, you know, <laughs> if he could bring, he could bring a full team of Ice Weakness, I think. No, no, he's one Pokemon short. Uh, but <laughs> we have a lot of opportunities there with Ice Beam, so that's why I have that. Um, now, remember, I said we have another way of taking out Snorlax, and the other way of taking out Snorlax is tricking a scarf onto it. This is not, this is a bad move here. Um, <laughs> I gotta be very careful. I don't, I'm running two choice scarves. I don't like running two choice items usually ever. Um, I know some people do, but I, I'm not one of those people. I don't like being locked in. I really don't like choice items in general. I try to avoid them as much as possible. But this week I said I needed to counter offense with offense. And uh, so here is scarf. Porygon Z with Trick. Um, now, I believe this is the only Pokemon on my team that out actually outspeeds everything on his team, which is really nice. Um, so we will out actually outspeed a plus one Scolipede if he wants to go ahead and protect turn one and get up his uh, speed. I don't think we killed, though. Um, so we would have to hope that it's at low HP. Maybe what we could do is uh, get Dusk Noir in there, use Haze to get 
rid of all of Scolipede's boosts. All right, and then it would be at zero. Uh, and then what we could do, we could switch in Porygon Z, predicting his protect for the plus one speed, uh, come in with that Ice Beam and or Hidden Power Rock, uh, and knock out Scolipede. That, that's, that's an option. Um, but uh, it is the only Pokemon that outspeeds a plus one Scolipede. So that's what we got there. Uh, Shadow Ball, uh, just for Slowbro, for Miss Magius, for Gardevoir. Uh, surprisingly, Shadow Ball also two hits Magneton, which is really nice. Um, so that's that's the team this week. I'm very excited to use it. I am very worried that I'm going to get blown back and wrecked by his team. I, this is the most worried I've been about a team ever. Um, now, I I think people say this a lot, but his team really does worry me. Uh, it, it counters my team very well. And if he brings the right Pokemon, I am very certain that I will lose. But uh, I'm hoping that, that I'm predicting the right Mons um, and that I, I've, I've prepared well enough to be able to out-predict him. We will see, though. Uh, so before I end this off, though, I want to go ahead and say that I am thinking that he's going to be bringing Dragonite. Uh, probably Mandibuzz or Aerodactyl, probably not both. Um, Miss Magius is an option as well as Magneton. I don't think he'll bring Ma Miss Magius and Magneton. Um, they're both not very defensive. They're both kind of frail. Um, they do hit kind of hard, so I, I don't see them both coming, but I could see one or the other. Um, I don't really expect to see Sceptile this match, although I guess it could come if he sees Araquanid and Gastron on his threats, which he should, but... I don't know, he might not view them as threats. They are very slow. You can take them out with HP Grass or something else. So, um, Sceptile is really not the best option, I don't think. Pyroar could come. I don't think it'll come, though. Uh, I think Mega Slowbro will come. Scolipede could. Uh, Snorlax, I think, should be there um, because it will wreck me uh, if he plays it right. And then Gardevoir, I think, will be there, too, because <laughs> let me tell you. I've had some trouble against Gardevoir in test matches. I always lose a Mon. I, I don't think I've ever not lost a Mon to Gardevoir in the test matches, which is very scary. Um, but that's 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 the team builder this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Had a lot of fun giving you guys these sets and whatnot. Um, I will be back tomorrow with the battle. Hopefully I can pull out another victory for the Tampa Bay Luxor. We will see. Anyways, guys, peace out, and I will see you guys then.